GPU prices continue to tumble down the stairs as if they were shoved. A popular Windows 11 D bloater. Oh man, it's a Trojan and uh, the Trojan horse of Intel GPUs means that they're delayed. That was a bad segue. Let's get into the hot news, everybody. I'm your Brett host. We're going to be going over the hottest tech news I can find on the internet while you enjoy your breakfast. And in fact, you guys have been sharing your breakfast with me over on Twitter using the hashtag breakfast. And we're going to go through a few now. We got uh, whatever this is that looks like potatoes and eggs of some kind. We also got this from Malaysia. That, I don't know what that is, but that actually does look pretty gosh dang good. And we also got fettuccine with pesto, basil and shrimp. I dislike all of that, but I'll give you a like for tweeting your breakfast. We got somebody drinking a Gatorade with a banana hat. Got some grapes. I like it, a fruit bag. Sounded rude, but that's what he typed. We got uh, whatever this is. Are these flapjacks, these crepes, these pancakes. That's, that's oatmeal. I hope that's oatmeal. Oh, this is a delicious picture, delicious view. Oh my goodness, is that, is that the space needle? Am I, is, am I, am I in the right continent? Troll cereal, is that, is that tricks mixed with Lucky Charms? I'm confused. Unless it's like Trolls the movie. We got some Greek yogurt, grapes, clementine, and muscle milk. And then we'll end it on monsters and kolache. That looks like a hot dog that you half ate. Good stuff with the half drank a bottle of Poland Spring. Anyways, if you want to submit what you're having for breakfast while you enjoy hot news, let me know over on Twitter using the hashtag breakfast. And yesterday, UFD Tech released a video regarding NVIDIA and their help on the PS5 DPU project. In case you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can check out that video right up there. But they're also trying to get a hashtag trending at hashtag NVIDIA PS5 to get NVIDIA to help with the PS5 DPU project. So if you want to check that video out, you want to tweet about it, you can do so. That'd be great. And what's also great is the pricing of GPUs. It's approaching close to MSRP for the seventh consecutive month. GPU prices have continued to drop, as you can see by this chart right here. AMD and NVIDIA GPUs dropping in price. NVIDIA only 19% above MSRP. AMD only 12% above MSRP, according to one German retailer. But we're seeing prices drop all across the world, including the 6600 Mech X2 is now below MSRP in the UK. So it's not just the 6500 XT that's below MSRP, but it's also the 6600. And I can personally attest that I've seen GPU pro prices drop right before my eyes. I picked up a 6600 XT for a video project two weeks ago for $600. That was what I could get it for in stock. Now, if I go to Best Buy, try to pick it up again, we saw it in store for what, like 450, 400 bucks, something like that. It was $400. It was crazy. And I was like, I just... I spent way more than that. This is not pleasant. Let me know if you've seen GPU prices dropping on your side of the pond, wherever that happens to be. It's certainly happening here in the US. It appears to be happening elsewhere in the world. So let me hear from you down below in the comments. And we're also hearing that AMD's Ryzen 7000 series of chips have entered into the pre-production stage of development. We are now getting stepping one indications from their next generation of CPUs, which means that they're entering in and that they could be produced. And we could probably start to see them towards the end of this year so that you can faster Ryzen CPUs. Everybody wants faster CPUs, don't you, Kyler? Never. Never. He's happy with his GP CPU. I like the slow ones. He likes the slow ones. That's... The Steam Deck might have started off slow as well with its sales, but not anymore. It has now topped the charts. As far as Steam's actual revenue, it ranks number one, beating out Elden Ring for the very first time since the Steam Deck has been released. Obviously, the Steam Deck costs $500, whereas Elden Ring's like $50 to $60, depending on where you pick it up. And so the fact that the Steam Deck is out pacing Elden Ring, especially as Elden Ring has been released for almost two months at this point, kind of makes a little bit of sense, but it also does indicate that Valve is getting more of these consoles out there. Let me know, have you gotten your Steam Deck if you pre-ordered it? I wanna hear from you down below and you're gonna hear about the crypto stonks. Kyler, come tell them about the crypto stonks. Now! Bitcoin up 1% to be at almost $41,000, having a large spike in the middle of Monday. Ethereum down 1.2% to be at $3,011 and Dogecoin down 2% to be at 13.8 cents. And you might be down on your hopes in case you were looking to pick up a Ford Mustang Mach-E this year because they're not selling them anymore due to too much demand. They've sold all of them, essentially. That's that's what it's coming down to. They're saying that they're no longer going to have them for the current model year. And that limited inventory may be available at selected dealers, so you probably will just have to try and wait for a 2023 Mach-E in case that's what you want. And some people have been waiting a long time for for the Playdate console, the little handheld analog thing that was going on, but apparently people pre-ordered them. What, what are you looking at me for? Crank. The little crank guy. Yeah, did you pre-order one of those? Do you want one? 
Uh, he shrugs. He doesn't know. I, yeah. They can't see you. So, like, I have to translate into to words. Know. He doesn't know. Well, it's now shipping. The reviews are out. People are saying it's decent. And now uh, Playdate is shipping out the Playdates for for the Group 1 customers, in case you've been waiting four years. And in case you've been waiting to de-bloat Windows 11, maybe wait a little while longer. One of the popular Windows 11 de-bloater tools has actually been investigated and found to have uh, malware. It was a Trojan. It, uh, it infected people because while it was supposed to de-bloatify like this freaking website that just wants to throw its banner ad down on me. It was using Cloudflare sidesteps to make sure you didn't discover what was going on and it was injecting you with malware and now your computer's got more bloat than before and probably, I mean, it just really depends. Do you want Microsoft's bloat and their malware or do you want this malware? It's a choice. Do you go with the malware that's known or the malware that's unknown? What's the, what's the saying? Uh, two pigeons in a bush is worth one in the hen house. What? <laughs> I nailed that one. But Intel doesn't look to be nailing the launch of their GPUs. Intel's A series GPUs uh, reportedly delayed until very late Q2 or potentially even Q3, which would be my guess that it's going to slip that far. According to new reports from a well known leaker, the A70 series, the, the A500 series or whatever they're called, they're, they're going to be delayed until like past July. Lie. It's not going to be good. So uh, don't expect to get your Intel GPUs anytime soon. But that's probably because they're using TSMC because there's new reports coming out that Intel is actually really decently far ahead when it comes to their foundry stuff and how they're producing all of their nanometer nodes. And in fact, a lot of industry experts are now saying that they should surpass TSMC as far as advanced ability by the year 2025, especially once to, they get to their 18A node, which is 18 angstrom, I think is what that stands for. So it's going to take a few years for Intel to get perfectly back on top, but Intel is using TSMC for their GPUs, so it could potentially be a foundry issue. It could be a design issue by Intel. It's hard to say, but it's all competing and all they're all fighting each other. That's that's what's going on. And I'm going to fight my brain because it wants to keep going, even though my heart says stop. So I'm going to stop this episode of Hot News right now. Check out hashtag breakfast. Send me your breakfast. I want to see it. And don't forget that tomorrow we have meme review live over on our Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash UF Disciple. Submit your memes over on our subreddit, which is reddit.com forward slash r forward slash UFD tech. We'd love to see your tech, gaming, or UFD tech related memes there, and we will review them live on stream. Until next time, my friends, chip cheerios on. Goodbye.